Ever wondered what your delivery drivers go through to get your food to your door as fast as possible? What is your, what is your problem? What is your problem? This is not your house. Electric bike robberies doubled in 2020 from the year before. You're not just someone to deliver your, your food. We're human beings. We need respect as well, because what we do, we do with dignity. Through rain, snow, and extreme circumstances, these drivers, who are mostly immigrants, snake through traffic, sometimes risking it all. More than a dozen drivers lost their lives in 2021. You get up in the morning, say bye to your family, start riding. You don't know if you're going to come back or not. New York is one of the top markets for food app delivery in the U.S., with a dozen food apps employing more than 65,000 delivery workers. The apps have profited billions of dollars during the pandemic surge. The drivers are considered essential, racing around the city to provide people with food during a pandemic. Yet the drivers feel unprotected by the apps or the city. And to those ordering at home impatiently waiting for your order to arrive, the drivers have a message. At the end of the day, my life costs more than $10. Jose Navarez is an immigrant from Mexico who used to work as a server and line cook before the pandemic hit. Since COVID, Jose has become one of thousands who joined the workforce as app-based delivery drivers. As he sets out to start his day, Jose prays as he does each morning. I pray for all of us, you know, make, you know, make us our lives easier out there and make us come back and save our families. As independent contractors, delivery drivers spend thousands up front to even be eligible for the job. Drivers say these widely used electric bikes that are critical to making a delivery on time costs around $1,700. The battery to run the bikes are $600 each. Helmet, another $60. Brakes, $15. Gloves to keep your hands warm, add another $20. And of course, a lock to secure the bike is $170. The drivers in New York make an average hourly wage of $787. That's just over half of New York's minimum wage. Meanwhile, these four major companies raked in $5.5 billion during just six months of the pandemic. The money Jose has spent to become a delivery man is essential to supporting his ill father back in Mexico. Without doing what we do, we wouldn't pay him his, his medical bills. And that's the reason why I pray to God in the mornings not to get hurt. So here's how a typical day for Jose goes. He opens up the app for a shift and rides out to his starting zone. As soon as he arrives, he's pinged for an order. Jose drives all over the city, making five deliveries in the next two hours. Even before he's able to drop off an order, he's pinged for the next one. As we followed Jose during his day, we didn't witness a single moment of rest in between deliveries. There was no opportunity for him to hit the pause offers button. One of the challenges Jose faces during deliveries is having to find secondary entrances. Oh, service? Yeah. Where? Around the corner. All right, buddy. Thank you, man. I believe it's a policy building. Like, you're not allowed to walk in from the front door, from a main entrance. It's sad, though. I stopped taking it personal because I know they might have a thousand deliveries already. Hey, I'm sorry to be a little longer. It, was, it took forever. That's okay. Right? Thank you. Jose showed us how much he made on that delivery. 441 time. I believe Graha paid for four dollars and forty one. For your time? From for, for the for the ride. delivery? Okay. Uh, they were generous, eight dollars I would say. This is my first like thirty blocks. I made total made twelve ninety one. So there you go, this I have another delivery. And then I had to go to Oh, it's ready. As the order came in, the food was ready to pick up in less than a minute. That means 100% of the burden to make the delivery within the estimated time is on the delivery person. In reality, the times are not accurate. Rushing me to get there. The drivers are in a reward system that works almost like a game. Can't complete or reject a delivery or received a bad review from a customer? Doesn't matter what the reason is, your rating goes down and that's going to directly affect the driver's ability to book lucrative time slots the next week. When you reach to a higher status on the app, you're offered shorter distance deliveries, allowing drivers to earn more money more quickly. If you don't take the, the delivery, yeah, you get penalty. 
they, they, they take your grades down. Next thing you know, you won't be able to take a schedule. You force to take that in order for you to keep working. The challenges Jose faces daily on the streets are endless. The bustling on the roads is incessant as construction, unloading trucks, and bikers all compete for space. It means Jose is constantly stumbling into obstacles on the road. Next thing you know, you got injured, you know? Next thing you know, uh, someone passed by, that battle will fly and hit somebody. The streets are not clean, not safe at all. Jose is highly aware of how risky the roads can be. A few days prior, he attended the vigil of a colleague who was killed crashing into an unloading truck. That was the 13th death of a delivery man in 2021. At the vigil, the community of drivers collected donations to hold a proper funeral and send his body back to his family in Mexico. It was like two months ago when one of my cousins passed away. So I know how it feels and I just want to support them because like, it's kind of crazy. Like, like we're alone in here. We're like, there's only us. The drivers feel the apps and police have failed to protect them. That's why after a full day shift, they gather here to deter crimes against delivery workers. They call themselves Delivery Boys in Action. The Queensboro Bridge has become a hotspot for robberies. With no police and cameras nearby, drivers are often attacked for their e-bikes during their ride back home. So what they do, they wait for you, and when you're almost there, they push you though. And when they push you, you just fly. So this is pretty much what we do over here. Like he said, he's going over there on the other side. And if it's clear, we just keep texting. But we encourage like our guys to actually get all together, you know? They don't cross the bridge alone. Friends, they're like praying not to get uh, not to get robbed, you know? Do you feel like the city and the police have failed you? Yes. They say that the delivery workers are essential when it comes for us to, to get help or more secure, you know, streets. It's not happening. Patrolling robberies is not the only community solution the drivers have come up with. Another common challenge drivers face during their shifts is getting denied bathroom access at restaurants. We got a rare look into one of the hidden garages delivery drivers have rented out. It's become a hub where drivers can safely use the bathroom, charge bike batteries, and eat a meal in peace without worrying about robberies. They treat you with respect over here. Places like that, in order for you to make your journey or your day better. Jose has almost trained his body to only take breaks after his shift is done. At the end of the day, he rides out to this deli he knows is a rare safe space for drivers. When I walk in, the first thing is I use the bathroom. That's, it sounds bad, but it's, this is the first thing that I do. There's a few places that, that understand what we're going through, through the day. After his shift, Jose shared with us how much he earned that week. This is what I've been making all day, all this week, from Monday to Friday. Is this a good week for you? Not at all. Because I didn't work over here because the bike got damaged. So the motor died. And on top of that, that I, I make this much money, I spent $450, almost $500 for the new motor. So oh, wow. It's OK, you know, it happens. Yeah. What do I want to, like, I'm going to sit down and cry and, and, and be angry? It happens. I'm alive. This year, delivery drivers celebrated New York City's new legislation that grants drivers more transparency on their daily earnings and tips, as well as the right to use most restaurant bathrooms. And here in New York City, delivery workers are showing there's another way. They're showing that we can stand up and fight back for basic things like using a while New York is the first city to pass such legislation to regulate the app-based delivery industry, drivers are doubtful it will address the core issues around safety and robberies. That's why we say we feel like we are on our own. If we don't take care of ourselves, if we don't, if we don't help each other as a community, as a family that we are, nobody else will do it though. Most of all, the drivers say the change they hope for can start with a bit of understanding from both customers and food apps. 
I want them to know like that we're there, but like have, they have to like wait for us a little bit. That they come for a better future. It's a, a way, an honest way to do our our living, to make our livings here. Yes, I choose to do this, but it's so much more than just a service.